Hello everyone. Welcome once again to Bioholic. It's another Friday. This is the last part of the chapter Chemical Coordination and Integration. Today, I will discuss about the hormones of heart, kidney and GI tract and also the other non-endocrine glands like pineal gland and thymus gland. So let's start. There are several organs whose primary functions are non-endocrine but that also possess endocrine functions that means they also secrete hormones. These include the heart, kidneys and our GI organs mainly. So these glands are called as non-endocrine gland or non-endocrine tissues though they also secrete important hormones. Clear? So from hearts some hormones are secreted like atrial natriuretic peptide and brain natriuretic peptide. The atrial natriuretic peptide or ANP is a polypeptide with 28 amino acids. It is secreted by atrial musculature of the heart. ANP is secreted during overstretching of atrial muscles in conditions like increase in blood volume. ANP in turn increases excretion of sodium followed by water excretion through urine and helps in the maintenance of ECF volume and also the blood volume. It also lowers blood pressure. And what about the brain natriuretic peptide? Brain natriuretic peptide or BNP is also called as B-type natriuretic peptide. It is a polypeptide with 32 amino acids. It is secreted by the cardiac muscles. It is also secreted in some parts of the brain. The BNP has same actions of ANP and measurements of plasma level of BNP is becoming an important diagnostic tool for heart diseases. In conditions like heart failure, BNP level is increased in the blood. So, by the measuring the BNP level, we can diagnose the heart diseases. Secondly, the kidneys also secrete five hormones. Those are erythropoietin, thrombopoietin, renin, 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol or calcitriol and prostaglandins. So the erythropoietin is secreted from endothelial cells of peritubular capillaries in the kidney and it stimulates the bone marrow and causes erythropoiesis. Secondly, the thrombopoietin, which is a glycoprotein and secreted by kidneys and liver, it stimulates the production of platelets. Thirdly, the renin. The source of renin are the granular cells of juxtaglomerular apparatus of the kidney. It converts angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1 and thus regulate blood pressure. Fourthly, the 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol or calcitriol. Cholecalciferol is converted into 25-hydroxycholecalciferol in liver and this in turn is activated into 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol by parathyroid hormone in kidney. It is important for the maintenance of blood calcium level. And lastly, the prostaglandin. PGA2 and PGE2 are secreted by juxtaglomerular cells and type 1 interstitial cells present in renal medulla. They decrease the blood pressure by systemic vasodilation, diuresis and natriuresis. Now moving to the major gastrointestinal hormones. Major GI hormones are the gastrin, secretin, cholecystokinin, gastric inhibitory peptide or GIP vasoactive intestinal polypeptide or VIP, motilin and ghrelin. Gastrin is a peptide with 34 amino acid. Presence of food in the stomach, vagal reflex, luminal distension st stimulate gastrin secretion. The source of gastrin are the G cells in stomach, TG cells in GI tract, islets in fetal pancreas. 
and gastrin is important because it stimulates gastric secretion and motility, promotes growth and gastric mucosa, stimulates release of pancreatic hormones and also stimulates secretion of pancreatic juice. Secondly, the secretin. Chemically, it is a peptide with 27 amino acids. Acid chyme entering the duodenum from stomach stimulates secretin production and also the products of protein digestion stimulates secretin secretion. The source of secretin is the yeast cells of small intestine. It stimulates pancreatic secretion, inhibits gastric secretion and motility. It constricts pyloric sphincter and it increases potency of cholecystokinin action. So thirdly the cholecystokinin which is another GI hormone and it is a peptide with 39 amino acids. Presence of chyme containing digestive products of fats and proteins helps in cholecystokinin secretion. The source of cholecystokinin is the eye cells of small intestine. It contracts gallbladder and pyloric sphincter. It stimulates pancreatic secretion with enzyme, accelerates secretin activity, increases enterokinase secretion. It inhibits gastric motility, but it increases intestinal motility. And it also important to suppress hunger. Next is the gastric inhibitory peptide or GIP. This is also called as glucose dependent insulinotropic hormone. When chyme containing glucose and fat enters the duodenum, then GIP is secreted. The source of GIP are the cases in duodenum and jejunum and antrum of stomach. It stimulates insulin secretion, it inhibits gastric secretion and motility. So the next is the vasoactive intestinal polypeptide or VIP. The presence of acid chyme in the stomach and intestine stimulates VIP secretion. The source of VIP are stomach and small and large intestines. It dilates planktonic blood vessels, inhibits HCL secretion in gastric juice, stimulates secretion of succus entericus, relaxes smooth muscles of intestine and augments acetylcholine action on salivary glands and also stimulates insulin secretion. Next is the motilin. When chyme from stomach enters the duodenum, motilin is secreted. The MO cells in stomach and intestine and enterochromaffin cells in intestine secretes motilin. Motilin accelerates gastric emptying, increases movements of small intestine and also increases peristalsis in colon. And another important GI hormone is the ghrelin. The secretion of ghrelin increases during fasting and decreases when stomach is full. So the source of secretion of ghrelin is the stomach. Ghrelin promotes growth hormone release and induces appetite and food intake. It also stimulates gastric emptying. Some other GI hormones are glycentin, glucagon-like polypeptide 1, glucagon-like polypeptide 2, pancreatic polypeptide, peptide YY, neuropeptide Y and substance P. The pancreatic hormone glucagon and somatostatin is also secreted from the gastrointestinal tract. And this somatostatin inhibits gastric secretion and motility, also inhibits secretion of pancreatic juice and secretion of all the other GI hormones. And mucosa of GI tract secretes encephalins, dynorphin, neurotensin, serotonin, urogastrone, enterocrinin, villikinin, guanylin, pombesin. However, the significance of these GI hormones are not yet clear. Now moving to another gland that is the pineal gland and its endocrine functions. Here you can see the location of pineal gland. It is located in the diencephalic area of brain above the hypothalamus. It is a small cone-shaped structure with a length of about 10 mm and it secretes melatonin hormone. So melatonin is chemically an indole and the melatonin secretion is more in darkness than in daylight. In animals, the secretion of melatonin varies according to activities in different periods of the day that is circadian rhythms. 
functions of melatonin are melatonin acts mainly on gonads its action differs from species to species in some animals it stimulates the gonads while in other animals it inhibits the gonads in human melatonin signal forms part of the system that regulates our sleep wake cycle and it is a potent antioxidant and it also has an anti-inflammatory effect melatonin is also used as a dietary supplement to treat insomnia shift lag syndrome or in jet lag next is the thymus gland and its endocrine function here you can see that the thymus gland is situated between our lungs in front of trachea and below the thyroid gland thymus gland is small in newborn infants and gradually enlarges till puberty and then again it decreases in size thymus plays an essential role in the development of immunity by processing the t lymphocytes thymus gland secretes two hormones the thymosin and thymine the thymosin is a peptide and it accelerates lymphopoiesis and proliferation of t lymphocyte while the thymine is also called thymopoietin it suppresses the neuromuscular activity by inhibiting acetylcholine release so that's all about the hormones that is secreted from the non endocrine glands in the description box you can find the self assessment test don't forget to appear to test and evaluate yourself as this is the end of the chapter chemical coordination and integration so next thursday that is on the 5th november 2020 i will take a mock test on this chapter be prepared for the mock test and also i will discuss about the previous 20 years of neat papers related to this chapter so that extra class will be very beneficial for the neat aspirants so get prepared for the mock test and from next friday i will start a new chapter that is the plant hormones so thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and if you are new here then please subscribe our channel because the world of biology is here and be a bioholic see you soon